Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today I'm bringing you a tutorial. It's an easy, fun tutorial um, where we're going to be making for um, stamps, like the mailing stamps. Um, but this is an easy technique. I found a tutorial online. I don't remember who it was, but if I found it again, I will leave you a link to that tutorial on the description box. But it's very, very easy, and this is something that you can easily make, a, like mass making. So let me show you what I have, the ones that I already did today. And please don't mind my fingers. <laughs> They're a stain from my ink and my gesso and all that, because I've been working on this since yesterday. So they're very easy to make. Look, all the ones that I did um, today. And I did, did um, this is to use on top of your um, project, like an embellishment. I did this uh, cluster with one of those with the mushroom. And I stamped, let me show you, this here that looked like it was male. I don't know if you can see it. Right there, you see the lines here and the stamp seal here. So I created a cluster using one of my full um, stamp. And uh, that's this is for that, to make embellishment and to, you can put them on top of your embellishment and to embellish your paper, use them like um, fake stamps, maybe on your postcards. And the only thing that I used Look at this one. I love the mushroom ones. The only thing I used was book pages and washi tapes. So let me put this aside. And it, it, this is like mass making. Look at these ones that are uh, bi bicycles. Look how pretty. And there's another one here. It's a bike. Then I had these ones that are like advertisement washi tape. And I'm gonna have all this ready for when I'm doing um, project. That way I had them ready to embellish. You know, some of my projects, there's another one from, you know, with mushrooms. And I had this one there, they were like tickets, strips. It's another one here. So this is very easy to make. So grab your book pages, if you have gesso or why um acrylic paint uh, grab that and trying to find your washi tapes that are easy like to cut in pieces like those this is the ticket one that i used this is the bicycle um this is the advertisement like vintage tape and this is the one that i use for the mushrooms these tickets and I found this one butterfly I haven't even used this one it's new so I want to try to use this and see if I can do some I don't know if this is a sticker or watchy tape let me open it mm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this it's like stickers it's like a watchy tape but it's, it looks like sticker I will try and see if I can use it if not well, I will use this on another project, but I had this for a long time and I haven't even used it, but this is what we're gonna be creating today. It's like false time toppers, like for using on top of your embellishments. So what I did, I I cover my pages, my old pages with white gesso. This is the acrylic gesso that I use. It's from Hobby Lobby, Master Touch. It says $7.99, but I'm pretty sure I got it at 50% off. That's the one that I use. I have my glue stick, my zigzag scissors. I don't know how you call this, but I guess it's like the zigzag. And your washi tape. That's the only thing that I, uh, you're gonna need. I found these old books. I showed some of you on my previous um, tutorial. I found these old books. Um, this is from 1954. And uh, I found them on a, like antique shop. 
and I've been using this on my latest project just because I want to reuse these pages and, and, and create something new. So I'm going to grab one here and I'm going to show you how I apply um, my gesso. You can also use white acrylic. This book is in French. I love it. So let me show you. I grab a playing card. You can use a gift card, an old gift card, your finger, a brush, whatever you like. And we're gonna do a thin layer. I'm gonna try to do a thin layer uh, uh, to cover uh, my test from my book page. Just, you know, you, this is optional, but I think it, for me it works better because um, it's, the book pages are not that not noticeable under my um, stamp. But, you know, this is optional. I like this option, but you can certainly do it without uh, cover it with the white acrylic paint or your gesso. You can still see it under the gesso, but it's more muted. Um, and my pages are a little darker than usual because they're very, very old. Um, and this will look better like a um, pages that are like not that this dark but since I want to use these old books and repurpose them and reuse their pages this is why I'm going to use this but you can use any type of book pages that you may have you can also use like ledgers music book whatever you have at home available to you that's what you're going to use and the washi tape. Well, so you don't have ones that are like these ones that you can like cut them on different pieces and you will still have like visible femoral-ish like images. Then use whatever you have at home um, and be creative. You don't have to have the same things that I'm using just to create this project. Just use what you have at home. Maybe you can use some images that you can print from the internet. Maybe stamp images. I should try that. Um, but today, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using washi tape. Because if you are like me, I have a lot of washi tape that I have, haven't even used. So this is the perfect project to use your washi tape. Pretty sure almost everybody have washi tape at home. So I'm gonna put this one aside to dry, <laughs> excuse me. And we're gonna work with the ones that I already did before. This is gonna, gonna use this page just to glue over it. I'm gonna use my glue stick because as you know, sometimes washi tapes are not the best sticking to your paper. Um, let me turn my fan off just a second. Because my pages are flying around too much there. So um, I'm gonna cover the back of my washi tape with my glue stick. And I think here I can probably, let me see, four, no, three bicycles. And I'm just going to glue a rose of my washi tape on my, pay, my paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the glue in the back. Trying to remember the name of the channel that I saw. Um, this person, crafter doing this. Um, I wanna say Sari or something like that, but I will look for it and I will link it below because I wanna give him credit. I enjoy very much his tutorials. I think he's from the UK and he has amazing tutorials and I found him a long time ago. 
And I was just looking for easy projects to make something different um, and have some variety. And I really like this idea. And since I was gonna make some for me to use on my project, I decided to record the process so you can learn too on how to do this. So I'm gonna do three rows with my washi tape, my bicycle washi tapes. So let me put this one aside because I'm not gonna use it anymore. We're gonna do a couple of pages. Um, I don't think that I'm gonna use all of my tape right now because I already use it and I show you the result. Just wanted to show you how to do this. So we probably gonna do a couple of pages, maybe three. And this is something that you can mass make. Like you can sit one afternoon in front of the TV and do the gesso over your page. Then when that is dry, you can do the, um, add the washi tapes. And then and later on another day, on the same day, you can cut them. I distress the edges of all of them. So that's something that you can certainly do later too distress the edges or you can distress the edges when you're ready to use them. So I think three or four of this one. Let me see. I think I can, I'm gonna go with four. This one are already like stamps, you see? But I wanna reinforce them with my paper and make it more sturdy. And that way I can use them on top of fabric, um, on top of paper. Like here, I, um, where's my embellishment? I added to a piece of paper and my piece of paper is on top of a piece of fabric. And watch it there, you know how it is. If you have it on top of paper, it will be easier to work with like um, to place it on top of other um, materials. I have, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm trying to explain it as, as best as I can, but sometimes I don't even know how to say something. So, but I try, I try. Let me be careful with this washi tape because of this, hole here is kind of frail. So let me be careful while I pull this. I think the next one that we're gonna do is the tickets. And I'm gonna try this butterfly, but I don't think that will work, but I may do a roll here with these mushrooms and see. Let's do that and try and see. Let me see. I don't think this will work, but you never know. I can add some glue. My finger is so stick. I 
don't know if I like it or not, but that's fine. Okay, so let's cut this. You can cut this tray with your zigzag scissors, but I, since this one is different, watch it. I'm gonna try and see something here. I don't know if you're like me, but I can never cut straight with these scissors. I don't know if it's hard for me with the regular scissors. It's more definitely challenging with this one. So, so let's see, I'm gonna cut right there. Maybe if I distress the edge, it will look better. There are those. I'm telling you, this is very easy to make. It's gonna go as close to the edge as possible. You see, you already have your um, fall stamps. I told you this is a very easy project to make. And you can have a lot of fun because you can create anything that you would like with these washi tapes. I'm gonna try and see with a regular washi tape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one there and do one more. Okay, let's do the bicycles. You can cut this with your regular scissors and then use these ones. But I found for me, it's easier for me just to cut it straight with these scissors instead of, because that's the way I was doing it first. Cut it with my regular scissor, then cut around it with these ones. But for me, it's easier to just cut, you know, this space that I have in between the washi tapes and leave like a, because before I was getting too close to the image after I cut the piece of tape. I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but I will show you, let me trim this one better. It's kind of, it's not straight. that's better so let me show you what I was doing I was cutting first like that with my regular scissor and then I went and cut around the image with this one that was more more work and I was like using you know getting too close to the image so for me, it works better if I just go directly with this one and cut around it. 
For me, that's easier to do it that way. Okay, we are almost done with this and I'm gonna try with a different washi tape. Trying to be as straight as possible. So here, look, we already have like stamps and then you can distress the edges and use those stamps that look like you're mailing this, like it was mail, this one's like that. I have this one here. I have more, but I had to look for them. But you know what I mean? These stamps that had like the mailing stamp. So let me try. Let me put this ones aside. And let me get. Let's try one of these ones. Let me see if I can grab it here. Sorry if my arm is on the way. These ones that I like this, I'm gonna try that. Let's try this and see. It's so sticky, let me use this side. Let's try this one. I think this one I haven't used, but oh, let me see. Yeah, let me see if I can get it off here. They look like Chinese characters. This is cool. I like this washi tape. I haven't even used it. Well, get one more one more let's use this one and see i haven't used this one either let's see oh maybe I, I did i don't remember but it doesn't matter let's use this one Let's cut them like stamps. See what we can come up with. Ugh, sticky, sticky. This glue is very sticky, my glue stick. It's my DIY craft industrial strength glue stick from Aline's. It's very sticky. My hands are sticky. Okay, so let's see, let's cut. Let me make sure that this is glued on. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm having a lot of fun making this stamp fox fall. I, I always have problems saying that fake, you know, fall stamps. I always have a hard time with that word, but I am really having a lot of fun. Well, you can tell because I have made a lot of this today. So let me see. I'm going to cut this one 
right here. And look. And let me see. I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. And see, there's some writing here. I don't know what it says, but I'm going to try to keep it there. I think I can do a better job on this side. This one I just have like a bow here. Maybe I can put something on top. Trying to see what I can get from this regular washi tapes. In case you don't have anything like mine that you can separate like in small images. Maybe you can do the same thing with your regular washi tape. So this one says Thursday here and some writing. I'm gonna be, see if I can cut it here and keep that flower. Look, this one say today, you have a little butterfly and a flower. Look, how pretty to use on, as an, an embellishment. And then this one say Thursday and it has some writing stuff here. I don't know. Uh, good. Forget it, it's too small for my eyes. Is it there? So let's see these ones. My Caesar are not the best. Good, so let's see what we can get here. Um, let me see, I think I'm gonna cut here this one says love right there and trend local is so I'm gonna cut this one here I'm gonna try to give them like small labels and stuff I took my I glass it for a moment so I can see what this letter says. Remain in life, deep feeling, remembrance. The word is a cold, is as, <laughs> the word is as cold as I. Okay, this what she tell is kind of, I don't know, sarcastic maybe, pessimist. <laughs> I don't know. This is the first thing I use in this what she tell. <laughs> it's crazy. And then here I say hope. Then this is too small, so I had to take off my eyeglasses. But this one says <laughs> uh, annoyance, and then here is a round, or I don't know what. Oh my goodness, this is too small! But I think this one we're gonna cut it right here. This thing is kind of funny, trifle hope. And water, something in vain. <laughs> here is a assistance, and here is a in vain, and then they have the butterfly there. I, I think I'm gonna keep the assistance in vain together. And then it say hope and trifles. I don't know what trifle is. And then this, this what she tells is too much. And then here I don't even say what it is, but. Look, so you can create from regular washi tape depending on what your washi tape says. But let's cut this one. This one I cannot read it because it's. It looks like Chinese characters, but I'm not sure. It may be another language, but for sure it's not English or Spanish. So let's see how we're gonna cut these ones. I think. This one I'm gonna cut right here. 
And this one you can use uh, even as layers, like under something else. Like, let me see. So I'm working on this project. Maybe I can add that there. And then, see if I have something small here that we can see if we can create something. Maybe a little bird, this bird. Let me put it this way. Now you can use them as layer on your projects as well. Like it was a label, like this label, look. Maybe you can layer it. I know this is not, this is, don't go with the image, but I just wanna show you that you can layer them and maybe, it's too big. I'm trying to find something. like that look you can layer those stamps and use use them you know on your project as in as a embellishment like i did here i need to glue that better like you can use it on cluster you can use it as layers as labels let's keep going with this one um so we're gonna cut it small to have different sizes. Please don't look at my fingers. Just look at that little washi tape. You know what? I need to cut this better. I, uh, let me cut this more because it wasn't at the edge of the washi tape. There. Let me see. Now it's better. Okay, this one. Let's cut this one here. I think I'm gonna use this ones, like I don't know, to do layers on my projects. I like that. So you see, you don't have to have. Look at this one. I really like that one. Let me see if I can get it closer and then this one maybe I will keep it like this but I think I'm gonna keep this one on this size I'm gonna keep the flowers see there's flowers here and there's a, this flower here so I don't think that I'm gonna cut anymore um, I think I gave you the idea of what you can do with your washi tape book pages and your zigzag scissor look at how many we did and what 30 minutes this is the butterflies and you can also do the same thing maybe add it on your project distress the edges and glue them down maybe like I see. Just bear with me. It's thing that this is your embellishment that you are working on your project. You can add something like that. Let me get the pink one. Maybe you can layer it like that on your project. I even like that to cut this and put it like right there with a sentiment. So, you know, you can use them different ways to embellish your project. And you can make a lot of them and half an hour look with it, all this. I like this one too. This one says, in the end, we will all become stories. That's what this one says right there. I like the bicycles. Look how pretty. And then this Thursday, I, I'm afraid to read what this one said. <laughs> but you get what, you know, the idea. Oh, I love this one too. The one that said today, it had the flower and the butterfly. Look how pretty. I will distress this and use 
use it somewhere in my project because I really like this. So this is it for this project. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Have fun. And maybe you create with me. I don't know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know when if when I'm doing tutorial is you go and get your you know supplies and um, do something with me. I would like to know that. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And soon I'm going to be having a giveaway and trying to reach the 500 subscriber. I think right now I am at 458, if I'm not mistaken, and I haven't lost anyone. So if you are not a member of my group, my Facebook group, or following me on my Facebook page, I'm going to leave that um the link to my link tree on the description box because there you can find all my social media links on one place and stay tuned because soon um, maybe by the middle of august i'm gonna be doing a giveaway and i'm gonna be giving away a journal or maybe a flip book something that i have made on one of my projects so stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, please, please. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Visit my link tree link below and follow me everywhere on all my social media. Thank you for watching everyone. I see you in the next tutorial. Happy crafting everyone.